this red so today is going to be a little story time so i just want oh i just need to show you guys my nails first because i, I did it myself they're very really cute they're cute but so yeah you guys um let's get to into the video but yeah um this dude i do not know i've never met him before i met him off the app same app that I met all the other people off of. And I know you guys are like, you haven't learned your lesson. I clearly didn't, you guys. And by the way, this was all around the same time. Like, I wouldn't say different days because they weren't back to back to back or day to day to day, but these were within around the same time. So like, you know, if one situation happened, another one happened like a month later, like this was back to back to back where everybody was meeting off of these apps. This is why I'm really trying to put that out there to have people not, meet people off these apps. Some people that you guys will encounter are very weird. I have encountered cool people, I'm not gonna lie. So don't think that just because I'm sitting over here talking about the bad means I didn't have good interactions or encounters I've had, but I'm not gonna sit there and talk about that. I'm going to talk about the bad experiences so I can teach you guys a lesson and make sure you guys don't go the same route as me, okay? Now, meeting somebody online that's terrible, whether it is trying to rob you, kill you, rape you, or even just have bad intentions or just weird in general, just weird, crackhead vibes, whatever. It's a good 60% of the time, you know? You got that good 40% where you guys will probably meet females. Like, I met a female where I smoked weed with her. She was cool. But after that day, she never hit me up. It'd be like that. So that's why, that's why I said that was kind of weird. Certain stuff be a little bit weird, a little bit iffy. You know, people I just met be trying to fuck or you know get married to you too quick that's red flags so make sure you guys peep the red flags during the talking stage or when y'all first meet up or whatever that way you can get the hell out of there because i should have older than me too that's the, that's the sad part he was 28 26 yeah and i can't believe he acted like that that is crazy to me he told me well i basically wanted to chill him you know just a little bit probably 30 minutes or whatever so boom i went to him um to his apartments i didn't know he lived in apartments i really thought he was a whole different person like but the first time i went up there um he did stand me up when I went there, he did not come out. He did not reply, nothing like that. And I went on his homegirl's live. He was on there typing away and everything. And he kept saying, okay, I'm about to come outside. Okay, I'm about to come outside. Did not come outside. So I sat there for about 30 minutes and then left. And people were telling me, oh, you shouldn't go back to the sound iffy, sound weird, set up vibes, whatever. Boom, the second time I went up there, he was cooling about it. He finally actually met me. And he was on live while he met me and he was telling all his followers like, hey, yeah, she's real, da, 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 da. she's not catfish. And then boom, we were just sitting on here. He let me play my music, just chilling, vibing, whatever, right? And then it got to the point where he was just acting weird. Like he kept saying I was a tranny. And for all you people out there that watch my videos, I am not a tranny, I'm full out female. No disrespect to any trannies out there. But for you to call me one and I'm not, is fucked up to say and it's disrespectful and i know that some of my features might look manly i don't know maybe it's because with our eyelashes on i look different maybe it's because i got big lips i don't know maybe it's because i got small hands i don't i don't know i honestly don't know um because i got a strong jaw like a lot of females these days are not trannies they just have strong futures and people will take that as something else and then the dude said, because I got hairy arms, as you guys can see, I got hair on my arms, which I don't care about, but other people seem to care about what's on other people's bodies. People care too much about the people business. And because you got hair on your arms, he wanted to see my ID. I showed him my ID, you guys. He said it was fake. That's the sad part. And by the way, my ID is not a regular ID. I have a driver's license and I have physically had to go take a driver's license. So this nigga was trying to tell me that it was fake. He was trying to sit here and tell me that I was a man and um then he was asking to examine my body and i was like no and i was like well um and then he said that since i got small titties and a small butt um i'm a man and then he said that i must have got surgery and i was just sitting over here like if i got surgery to get my butt and my boobs done don't you think i would have got them done bigger than what they are now 
Make it make sense. After that, even after that, nigga asked to see my social security. I said, How, what does it have to do with somebody showing if that's a female or male? He was like, oh, that just shows that, that that's really you. No. So be careful with the red flags, you guys. That is crazy. Dude grabbed my phone and was about to smash it with a hammer because he kept saying I was lying to him. Like, that's when he started going berserk. And then he said he even asked his sister. And his sister came in the room and said, oh, yeah, she does look like a female. And then he told me, like, when I first came, he was like, oh, yeah, I was showing my sister your Instagram. And she said that you look like a catfish, like you look like a tranny. And I was like, why are you showing people my Instagram and I don't even know you? That's weird. Like, first off, why didn't you say this before? Why didn't you ask for photos or something like that? Second of all, why are you talking about me to people? And I don't know you like that. Like, this is the first time meeting. If anything, you should just be like, this is how she looked. And that's it. Shut up after that. After that, um, that's when he went on live, you guys, and he kept asking everybody. He was like, do you guys think this is a man? Da, 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 da. And people were like, no. And then he kept thinking that because of how my neck looks, you guys. He was like, oh, not that I was a whole female. So he typed it. Like, he literally looked up how a dude's neck looked like and a female neck should look like. I just kept going off on him. I was like, it's so disrespectful for you to sit here and keep calling somebody a female, I mean, a man, and they're steady telling you that they're a female. And I was like, I'm gonna leave. And he kept saying, no, don't leave, don't leave. Da, da, da. Then he kept changing the subject. And after that, he would be quiet and silent for about 30 minutes and then go back on this topic and say, oh, I'm a man, da, da, da. And after he tried to break my phone, that's whenever I told him I had to go to work. So I did leave after that eventually. But he asked me to come over and that's when I went left again. I went back over there and the nigga was ignoring me, avoiding me, all types of stuff. And then it got to the point where I had to use the bathroom and he was like, you're a man, you don't need toilet paper because I asked for toilet paper. And he was like, just shake. And I was like, um, I'm all female. What are you talking about? And so that was just amount of disrespectful. I don't know what was up with this dude. And for him to do some stuff like that, like everybody on my live, when I was explaining what happened, they told me that he had to be gay or something was wrong with him. Like he is either gay or he had sex with a gay person before and he was traumatized. And that has nothing to do with me. That's your personal problems. That's your personal experience. That's that's your fault that you did that. And that's your fault you went through that. That has nothing to do with me. But don't get, don't project your insecurities and what you feel onto me. Dude was fucking crazy and weird. You're too grown. Dude did not have a job. He lied about having a job, you guys. He lied that, about making money. He said he made two bands a week and stuff like that. Dude sitting over here asking me for money. Boy, shut up. You sitting over here asking, you guys, he literally went on live just to finesse females. Like he'll literally sit there and talk to females, flirt with them, make it seem like that he's he likes them and all that type of stuff, that you're the only one I'm talking to and ask them for money. Hey, can I have 10 bucks? Hey, can I have 40 bucks? Et cetera, et cetera. And then it got to the point where it was being really disrespectful where when I was over there the second time, he didn't want to talk to me. So every time I kept talking, he was just like, shut up. He was like, you're a man, why are you talking to me? And then um, he made me turn off my location off both of my phones. I have two phones, I have an Android and I have an iPhone. So he took my phone, turned my location off and that's where it was red flag right there. And then it was like, so you're gonna tell me the truth, you're gonna tell me the truth. And I was like, what is the truth? What are you talking about? And he was like, you're a man, just admit it. And I was like, I'm not gonna admit that cause I'm not. So I'm not gonna sit here and do what you say and it's wrong. That's not my fault and that's what you believe. And I kept repeating myself over and over and over and over and it got to the point where he eventually smacked me. And that's never, I was like, yeah, I'm about to go. I mean, I left my charger there and everything. I just dipped up out of there. He was, like I said, he was not talking to me. So he went on live and I went and sat in the living room because I don't like when people be rude to me and I'm over at your house. If you're going to be rude to me, I'm the type where I'm going to leave. I'm not going to stay somewhere where people feel some type of way about me. And if you can't sit there and express it with your mouth, or if you can't sit there and say what's up or whatever and you just giving bad vibes or you know what i'm saying you're ignoring me all types of stuff i'm just gonna leave at my house nobody ignores me when i'm in my own sanctuary nobody ignoring me nobody doing too much and i'm peaceful only you whatever such and such he was like you could whatever such and such so i went back into the room and no no, no i left and i called an uber and then he came outside and he was sitting outside and he kept calling me and i was not picking up so, and I forgot one thing, you guys, my purse. So I had to go back. 
So he called me and he was like, oh, what you doing? Like he was trying to pillow talk me basically. And he was like, you can come back. I'm not gonna do nothing to you, you're okay. And he was like, you want me to do something to this Uber? And he was like, if you don't come back, oh, I'm gonna do something to this Uber. So I finally came, cause like I said, he pillow talked me and he was being nice at first. And then when I met up with him, he was mad. He was about to punch me in my face. And he realized people was walking past in the apartment complex, so he didn't. So then he grabbed my phone and he did not give me back my phone, you guys. So I was literally kidnapped, basically. That's what it is. Because me personally, I don't care about my phone, but it's the fact that there's all my stuff in there. So after that, um, we went back to the house and he goes on his Snapchat and he asking me, oh, how do I delete Snapchat? I'm like, why? He's like, because this nigga did not talk to me the whole time I was here, but you're gonna ask me how to delete Snapchat. So I was being driving him too. He was talking shit about my hair. Like, I don't know if you guys saw my other videos when I had that black curly wig or brown curly wig. He was just telling me like, oh, everybody can tell this is a wig. Of course everybody can tell it's a wig. It's a fucking wig. Wigs are not supposed to look 100% like real hair. That's what females and dudes need to realize. A wig is a fucking wig. Wigs went back to the motherfucking 1800s, George Washington and shit. disrespectful after they asked for me to come you feel me as they asked me to come in their space i wasted my gas my time my energy and i got abused so that's something i don't ever want to deal with again and that's why i'm sharing this rap ladies out there you gotta realize that a dude will pillow talk you and still do you bad a dude will sell you dreams talk to you nice buy you things and they'll still be evil as hell I went back, like I said, I went back in the house with him. And like I said, he still had my phone. So he he was Snapchatting somebody or something like that. I don't know. And then I kept asking him, like, what was going on? He was like, I'm waiting for my plug to go. I'm waiting for my plug to go. I was like, okay. So then he asked me to go walk to a um, canopy. There's like a little canopy thing in the apartments, outside of his apartments. He wanted me to walk with him. So at first he told me he wanted me to walk to the gas station with him but when we got to the canopy he was like oh we're just gonna sit here i was playing i'm not gonna walk to the gas station so he kept telling me to walk away from him he was like you stand in the front and i'm gonna stand in the back and i was like why and i was like why the fuck would you bring me out here and i was like i want my phone he was like i'm gonna give you your phone i'm gonna give you your phone i'm gonna give you your phone he didn't give me my phone and then he kept complaining he was like dang this person was supposed to come dang he was supposed to come and they was like he, he was like houston dudes a week and he was like i spent a lot of money on this and he was like, and the fact that he didn't even come and I was just like, wow. Like if you guys did not peep that conversation, he was saying more stuff, but if you guys did not peep what I was talking about, basically he was putting a hit out on me, you guys, because he walked away from me and he wasn't trying to be next to me at all when I was by the canopy. And he kept repeating it, he kept saying out loud. He was like, oh, I spent 11 bands on this and he didn't even come. And he was like, Houston dudes are so scary. That's why I be staying in Georgia and stuff like that. And the sad part is you guys, he's from where I'm from. So that's the saddest part of it all. And he said, cause I was from Atlanta, I'm, I'm tranny. Like y'all are so disrespectful. People like that is so disrespectful. And I'm not trying to be mean. I wish everybody, you know, positivity and good things to happen to them but that dude he deserves everything that's coming to him you deserve the worst karma possible because for you to put a female through a position like that where nothing was even going on and it went left like that something is wrong with you mentally physically emotionally and all of the above spiritually too then the dude had the audacity to talk about the moon oh yeah there's a full moon tonight that's why i'm acting crazy I said, you guys, I was outside for about 20 minutes waiting for somebody to come shoot me up or whatever. He was even saying it. He was like, oh, they were supposed to come and be done with the issue and I was supposed to leave. He was like, you wasn't supposed to have, get your phone back and all that type of stuff. He was like, you wasn't even supposed to be alive by now. He was saying stuff like that. Whenever he walked in front of me and when he was walking in front of me inside the house, I grabbed my purse because my purse was still on the living room uh, couch. So I grabbed my purse, I ran out. I ran the fuck out. And by the way, you guys, the first time this happened, it was daytime. The second time this happened, it was nighttime. It was 12 a.m. I ran outside at 12 a.m. As soon as I started running outside, my wig flew off. And I didn't glue it on or nothing. Like sometimes when I put on wigs, you guys, I do not be gluing them on because sometimes they're so good. My wigs be so good to where you can't tell. So I started running, my wig flew off. As soon as my wig flew off, I was like, fuck it, I don't care. So after that, I called my mom, my mom came and got me, and then I got, I went home, because I was not gonna call an Uber, I was like, it takes too long, 
I'd rather call my mom. That's whenever I got in the car, never talked to him again, but he was blowing up my phone. He was calling me multiple times. He was texting me multiple times. I don't know where he got all this animosity from. I know I was not being rude to him. I was not being disrespectful to him. I didn't even call him out his name. And if you're watching this video, just know you're a weak individual and I hope karma comes to seize you. And for all you other people watching this, just know, be careful who you let in. And I'm not talking about in your house, I'm talking about in your circle, in your environment, in your area, in your energy, because people have ill intentions. Yes, they may pillow talk you, they may be nice at first, they may seem cool, they may do things for you, but that does not mean that they fuck with you. So that's all I gotta say. That's it for the video, you guys. I hope you like, comment, subscribe. I